Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are going to be trying out a bunch of e.l.f. products because I have a full bin. Literally, like, this is in my closet. You guys have all seen the organization process by now. If you haven't, I will link below my room tours and the whole cleanup thing. But I pulled, like, all of the e.l.f that I have been wanting to try out of every drawer. And I have a big bin right here and I figured that I would just try on as much of it as possible, swatch the rest and do a bit of a full day wear test and let you guys know how everything worked out. Because whenever I make e.l.f. videos, you guys just respond in such a good way. You love knowing what's good, what's not good, because it is one of those brands that you can really find something great for just a couple of bucks. So let's take a look at what I even have here. I love doing e.l.f. videos. If you haven't seen the other ones that I've made in the past, I will also link those. There will be a lot going on in the description box. Make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss potential future e.l.f. videos. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Make sure your notification bell is on so that you don't miss any of my content. I do upload five days a week if you are new here, which is totally bananas, but I just really, really love makeup. So let's take a peek at what is in here. Ugh, I'm like, oof. I never get super allergy-ish during this time of year, you guys. I'm just like praying to God that I am not getting sick. If my voice sounds a little bit crazy in this video, that is why. We're gonna try to drink some spinach and remedy it. Ugh, I always think this might work, but it just tastes like garbage. Mm, health. Uh, oh, I haven't done this on camera in a long time either. So let's just start this video out kind of like over here, over there, over here, everywhere. I haven't taken my halo yet today. And I always keep this right here on my vanity, just kind of like with everything else that I have going on to remind me. And I have not done that. I've literally just got out of the shower, got dressed, rolled on into this room and sat down with this bin. I don't have a master plan of how this video is gonna go. Not feeling the greatest, a little all over the place, but we're gonna get through this together and three, two, one, I'm gonna take my halo. If you guys have not checked out my halo Instagram or learned about the product, I will have everything linked below. I always do before and afters on Fridays, usually on the halo Instagram and on mine. This is just like the greatest thing for your hair, for your skin, for your nails. And the proof is in the pudding, like everybody is seeing great results. So go check it out if you're curious, what the heck is this? Cause I don't talk about it that often on my channel. I'll have it listed below. All right, three, two, one. Oh my God, that green juice is so gross. All right, so let's get to makeup because I feel like I could use some. We have a primer infused bronzer. That sounded so cool. I actually went to my local e.l.f. shop and picked these up. I have a primer infused blush and spicy and an always cheeky. I have some makeup mist. I have booster drops. What are those? This lightweight booster supercharges your beauty products with antioxidants used alone or into foundation. Oh, we can mix this into foundation. Ooh. Packaging. Packaging goals. Holographic. This is a beauty shield lipstick, prismatic lip gloss. I have a brush. Hmm. Huh. That actually looks like it might be nice. This looks like a lip gloss. That's not a lip gloss. It's a beautifully bare smooth matte eyeshadow. I have these right here, which look just like the Guerlain little, why do we wanna call them little balls of color? That's not what they're called. The meteorites, that's what they're called. Ooh. Oh, what? This literally comes in like a separate thing like this. Oh my God, it looks like candy. Don't leave this around your children. That really actually looks like candy. Okay, there we go. Smells like nothing. I cannot stop, like that. that's one of my test things that I do, I always smell the makeup. I mean, can you blame me? Like they're coming out with like chocolate, lipsticks, and fruit scented blush. I have, <laughs> ooh, eyeshadow, blush, power glow highlighter in gold. Oh, wait, I think I've tried this one before. I will save this for a friend. This actually looks super beautiful, this uh, chromatic eyeshadow palette. I also have this one right here. This is the rose gold eyeshadow palette. I don't think I've tried this one. I really like their matte shadow palette. I've talked about that one a bunch. These are $10. Ooh, that is really pretty. 
ooh, like super buttery, soft, smooth. Wow, okay, we're using that. All right, so what I don't see here is foundation and I feel like I really need that. So I am going to prime foundation, conceal, and then I think we'll start working on the eyes. So I will be right back. And we're back with foundation, powder, and brows. And I wanna go straight in and test this primer infused blush and bronzer because I don't know why, that is so interesting. What about it is a primer? This long wearing blush is infused with a lock on primer powder to ensure a full day of perfectly placed blush. Okay. Let me get in here. Okay. I think this is a really, really pretty color too. So this is always cheeky. I'm gonna go in with my Sonia Kashuk blush brush, grab a little, mm, a lot's coming off there. And we'll just go from there. Very, very subtle. I guess you can see it. That's actually really natural and pretty. I like it. But a lot of the time with more natural and very kind of effortless, pretty glowy pink blushes or any color blush really, if they're more on the natural side, they will disappear within a few hours. So we will see by the end of the day if any of this is left. It's blending pretty nicely too. The e.l.f. blushes that come in their traditional casing that kind of looks like NARS, the black little case, I don't really like those blushes at all. They never blend well on me. So this is blending a lot nice, a lot, oh my God. This is blending much better. All right, I wanna go in with the primer infused bronzer. And I think I'm gonna put this one in a giveaway. This is just not my color. All right, so I'm gonna take a different brush. This actually looks really great. It's matte. I think it's gonna be good. All right, I'm trying to get it to blend. It's a nice color. It's a little bit blotchy almost. Yeah, I love the color. I'm gonna have to look in different lighting. It seems like it was grabbing at certain areas like right here on my foundation. I can't stand that, ooh. I did mix the booster drop in with my foundation and it's more gel-like than an oil. Like it comes out pretty thick. Uh, it has kind of a syrupy type of a thing instead of like a straight oil. And I feel like it made my foundation do the same thing of me mixing in oil. So this was pretty good. And I did put on Laura Mercier today. I know how that works every single day and it did blend really beautifully today. So that was cool. And we're gonna go into a little eyeshadow. So I'm going to take this palette right here. This is the Sunset Palette. The only thing this doesn't have in here is like a nice matte kind of you know, lay down color that you would put all over your lid. So that is kind of disappointing. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the pinkier shade and just work this in, oh, whew. That is a lot more pigmented than I thought it would be. We're gonna just work this into the crease. Oh my gosh. It's blending really nicely though, but that was just like, bam, pigment. That is so beautiful, that's just one color. I'm always so impressed by these palettes. Like Elf does such a good job with eyeshadow, it's really incredible. Okay, I'm gonna take a MAC 217 and I wanna go into this deeper shade down here. We're just gonna kinda go for it. I'm gonna grab that on the tip of the brush. That looks like it's gonna be super pigmented too. And I'm gonna kinda place that on the outer edge and just kinda slightly take it in. So I'm not going high up here. Wow. Going back in with the first brush and kind of making sure that everything is blended together. And now I'm gonna take this tinier brush. This is a defined crease brush from Makeup Geek and I am going to go into the darkest shade right here and basically do the same thing, but I'm almost turning my head completely so I can really get that outer edge. So I'm gonna go ahead and do something very different. And on the lid, I'm gonna try out this beautifully bare smooth matte shadow. This is a rosier tone. We'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll end up putting something on top of it, but I really like how everything so far is going. This really looks like it's lipstick. Okay, I'm gonna go off the back of my hand and just use my fingertip. It feels kind of greasy though. Really interesting because on the back of my hand, when I first put it on, it looked very wet and almost oily. And then you get it on the lid 
and it's, it's completely matte. That's really cool. Huh. So I do wanna take some type of metallic on top of this. I'm not really loving it completely matte with what I have going on. So I feel like I wanna take this shade right here. Uh, actually, that's not even swatching that great. Actually, I'm just gonna keep this as is. I'm gonna put on some liner and lashes and then we'll get two lips. Now that I have lashes and liner on, I absolutely love this look. It is always a little bit weird for me to have no shimmer or shine on my eyes, but then at the end of it, I end up really, really liking it. So I have to say immediately, I already know that that palette is totally worth it. I love it. I think it's great. Now, what we need to move on to is a little bit extra on the face. I do want to set my face with these little guys right here. Ooh, the green in there kind of scares me though. It's like a dupe for the meteorites. And we're gonna just go in and pray for the best. So I'm just gonna go in here. Ooh, that's kind of dusty. Ooh, it's coming off a little green. Do I really wanna do this? These are supposed to kind of color correct and just make the skin look really, not dewy, but just healthy and creamy and even. And I don't really know if that even did anything. Ooh, I lost one. But I wanted to try it. So I know that the Guerlain ones, I always feel like if my face is a little bit over powdered or the foundation just looks a little heavy, it does put almost like a filter effect over your makeup. So I do really love those. They are crazy expensive. I think this did a little something. It's hard to tell, but I will update you at the end of the day. Okay, so let's you know crack into here. This is a gorgeous blush palette. And obviously I'm already wearing blush, so I'm not gonna use that portion of it, but I wanna try out the highlight. So I'm just gonna go right in here and that's not bad. It's actually more of like a creamy metallic than it is shimmery. I kind of like that. Hmm, I quite like that highlight. I am so surprised. This is really pretty, and I think that these blushes are probably awesome too. Maybe we'll just add like a pop. Yeah, I think that's good. All right, so we need to try out some of the lip products. I know I have been trying so much in this video, but I really wanted to try out this guy right here. This is Dusty Rose Shield, and I just was grabbed by the packaging of this, to be honest. I got this at the e.l.f. store and just waited around because I wanted to film testing products out. I think this is just, oh, why did I think that this was glossy? It's like matte. Huh. That is absolutely not what I expected. I don't like this. It smells weird. It feels weird. It says it's satin, but it almost like, I don't know, they have better lip products. I think this is a pass, you guys, we have a pass. Most of the stuff was really good. That one, ooh, not liking. Let's try out this lipstick instead. This is Touch of Blush. And I feel like I've tried one of these before, not this shade. That's really pretty. Okay, that is much better. It doesn't feel thick on the lips. I really like it. I'm gonna top this off with a little prismatic lip gloss and then I think we will be all set. So this is the shade Rose Quartz. Looks really shiny and pretty. Love the applicator. Three, two, one. Does not really do a lot. Okay, compared to other lip toppers, this is really uh, not great. So one out of the two lip products I love. This one is just so-so. The other one I don't like at all. Let's set the face with a little bit of e.l.f. setting spray. Where did it go? Right here, gorgeous hollow packaging. And this is antioxidant rich. It's formulated without paraben, sulfates, phthalates, or alcohol, and it protects against pollutants, dust, and smoke. Ooh, that is aggressive. That's like a very aggressive spray. I don't know like how I liked how that sprays. This is what I normally like as far as a spray. Do you see the difference? It's like gentle and this is like really like, like hairspray. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna top it off with a little cover effects. Boom, you guys, I love my makeup right now. I think this turned out great. And right now it is 
12 o'clock, HQ just started 10 minutes ago and I missed it, gosh dang it. Uh, yeah, so I will see you guys at the end of the day and we'll check in with how everything wore. Hey guys, what's up? So this is the final wrap up check-in. I almost forgot to do this. Why do I keep doing that? Oh my gosh. Uh, my face is shiny. I probably will never use those elixir drops again because I mix them into my Laura Mercier foundation, which almost never makes my face shiny by the end of the day, but I am quite dewy the blush stayed really nice all day actually i will definitely wear that again the lipstick was great but i ate food and it wasn't a liquid lip so of course that's just kind of checked out of here the eyeshadow you guys i loved that eyeshadow i really liked the pigment how it applied but there is a but look at my eyes um <laughs> it's like it started to itch really really badly and I noticed that throughout the day, I was just very much rubbing my eyes. And then I finally reached a point where I was like, oh, just like everything is really annoying me with my eyes. And I took my lashes off and started rubbing them more. I think there's something with like the pigment or I don't know, because I'm not like the liner and the mascara is the same that I use all the time. So the only thing different is that eyeshadow. So sorry, Elf. Oh my gosh. I usually like your eyeshadows so, so much, but this one just did not do it. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I hope you are having an excellent day or night or whatever time it is, wherever you are. I'm just wishing you a good one and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.